What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing none other than Claude Sire. Let's go. This Claude Sire team was built by Mr. Kurtastic. Thank you very much. It looks very Kurtastically. Uh, and the idea is Claude Sire's Water Absorb, paired with Kyogre with Surf, uh, can keep it healthy and just toxic stall the opponent. Uh, but other than that, we have a pretty offensive team. We have Kyogre Tornadus. The Kyogre only has spread moves and only has water moves. So you got to be really careful playing that. Uh, but it's Terra Grass, so it has some defensive capabilities. And then Assault Vestar Chaladon, very good in the rain. Chi Yu with Sash, very good at boosting Kyogre's damage and Tornadus' damage and our Chaladon's damage. Most of our damage is special, so Beans of Ruin can help. And then a set I really love, Wide Lens, Queenly Majesty, Sarina. Queenly Majesty stops priority, and Wide Lens makes it so Sarina's moves sometimes hit. Because when you got moves like Triple Axle, High Jump Kick, and Power Whip, you miss a lot. Uh, but it's a cool looking team. I hope it can do well. I don't know how good Claude Sire is, but I think I'm going to find out today. So let's get into it. Alright, we've got a Ho-Oh, Urshifu, Rock Pond. Bolt, Chen Pao, and Physical Bear, Ursaluna. Okay. Not sure what the Ursaluna is there for. They don't really have much speed control other than, like, Electro Web. Unless they have Tailwind on Ho Oh. Um, but what do they have for Kyogre? They have Bolt for Kyogre. So maybe I want to go with Fishy. Fishy is good, but not against their Urshifu. Yeah, Bolt is probably the biggest problem they have. And Clodsire can handle Bolt pretty well. Uh, what is Clodsire even afraid of? It's afraid of the bear. The, the bear at the bottom, not the bear at the top. The bear at the bottom. I don't know if they would bring that though. Not into a Kyogre team, we have so much that can hit that bear. So, I think Claude Sire lead is fine. Try to get Bolt out of the way so Kyogre can come in in the back end. Maybe even with Tornadus. So maybe I lead with Fishy? And then Arch is a swap in to Rock Pond. And Kyogre last? I don't hate this. Yeah, this could be fine. This could work out for the Claude. This team is a little awkward with uh, Claude Sire being so defensive and the rest of it being so aggressive, but it's a fun team. Alright, let's see what you got. And let's see- oh, nothing. Great, thanks. Thanks a lot. Alright, now what do you have on lead? Something terrible for me most likely. Chen Pao Ho Wo. Yikes. Yikety yikes. Yep, you can see that your Chen Pao is faster than me, which is bad. Uh, but I should be faster than Ho-Oh, which is good. Claude Sire is weak to Ice, which is bad. But I could Terra it. Maybe I should. Start getting Toxics down. Yeah, I'm down to just get a Toxic down. And protect you. Cloud Sire with the Toxic, chipping them down, weaken them up. All good. And plus, our fish has Sash, so next turn we can stall even more, do a little stuff with that. Cloud Sire. I should have Protect. Okay. You're scared of the fishy fish, which means you're probably targeting the fishy fish, which is great. Uh, they do have Tailwind on their Ho-Oh. That's interesting. Ho-Oh, can you please stay on this screen? You're too tall. Please, please come back here. You're, you're, you're way up there. Why are you way up there? Is Ho-Oh too high on your screen too? Anyway. Now they can double Chi you because they're faster. And because I just protect. And because I don't have Terra left. What would they double it with? Brave Bird? Sacred Sword? I may just have to give them the fish if that's the case. Uh, I'll Toxic the Chen Pao. I think I'll go for a Heat Wave. 
I don't want to try to double protect, and I don't want to swap. Fish honestly isn't that important once I put rain up, so let's see what their Terra is all about. I'm not sure why they were threatened enough to go for it. Fire Terra on Chen Pao? That's cool. That's really cool, but uh... Helping Hand. What are you... I don't understand. Rope Trap. Oh, they're going after Cloud Sire hard. Ow. They got Life Orb, Helping Hand, Throat Trap. That's a full support ho oh, isn't it? Wow. Wow. Uh, well, I mean, I could double protect here. I could expect them to split damage. I'm not sure what they would do if they would do that. They might split their damage. They have Throat Chop, though. They could have Throat Chop, Sucker Punch, and then an Ice move. Making doubling Chi Yu not very likely. Uh, I could bring in Archaladon on the Cloud Sire slot, but honestly? I think Cloud Sire should go for a recover. No. I think I should double protect. And then maybe have go for uh oh, they're swapping. So someone was safe this turn. But who? Uh, into bolt. Okay. At least I get to see more about your team. This is this is good for scouting purposes. And, oh, Chen Pao just protected. That means Clodsire's protect fails, and I can do it again. I like that. And unless you're gonna clap and hit Chi Yu, you're not gonna be able to take it out. Uh, I know, you have Tailwind up. You could, like, Thunderbolt or something. But I'm stalling out your Tailwind, too. You're like, you've only got one last turn of it. Yeah, I think I'll go for a Protect on Cloud Sire. Just see if they know I can do that. And Snarl. Snarl should take out Pow from here, at least after Toxic. And weakening up Bolt would be nice. That's assuming Chi Yu survives. Uh, they would have to put a lot into it, though. They would have to double in. And it would have to be... I mean, they have booster energy, so they're pretty strong. They could probably do it with like a Thunderbolt plus a Throat Shot, but they're swapping. Do they want their Tailwind back? Into Water Urshifu. Okay. Maybe I should have gone for a recover there. Yeah, it would have been free. Oof, big damage. We're getting that snarl down on Bolt. Excellent. Your Tailwind is gone. Chi Yu is probably a goner. I'm gonna try to recover with Cloud Sire. See if they ignore it. And bring in our Chaladon, maybe? To get some boosts? Seems like a nice thing to do here. Because, like, there might be an opening. Because Bolt, I could see trying to swap to get rid of the Snarl. Urshifu, I could see being careful about what it clicks, especially if it's choice. Maybe even U-turning, in that case. Uh, surging Strikes, thank you! Uh, in that case, they must be going after Cloud Sire with a Thunderbolt, which is sad, but... Hey, it is what it is. Or maybe they're going for something like Electro Web, which may miss Cloud Sire entirely. Come on, Cloud Sire, you got this. Dodge it, whatever it is. It's just a Thunderbolt. Cloud Sire is just gone. Okay. I'm sorry, Cloud Sire! Those boosts are great on our Chaladon. All right, they have Chiyu. No, no, I have Chiyu. They have a Fire-type Chen Pao. The Urshifu may be Scarfed. May not be. If I go to Kyogre, they'll definitely thunderclap it. 
and they'll get boosted damage against our Chaladon. If I go to Chi Yu, they'll definitely Surging Strikes it. That might be okay. They're definitely gonna go after Chi Yu with maybe Surging Strikes, maybe Thunderclap. Either way, I'm just gonna protect. No, I could be faster. I should not assume they're Scarf. They're probably Scarf, but I shouldn't assume. In which case, they could go for Thunderclap. I think Snarl is fine. I'm gonna Draco the Bolt. Oh, the Bolt protects? The Bolt has protect, guys! Of course it does. It's... It's... Booster energy. Okay, they're not Scarf on their Urshifu. There's a chance Kyogre outspeeds them. That's what that means. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Electroshot that Urshifu. And protect Kyogre from an incoming Thunderclap, right? This is getting di more and more difficult. Because they could just close combat Kyogre. They know I want a Draco the Bolt. They could swap it, they could Thunderclap. Protect Kyogre, Electro Shot the Urshifu. It seems fine. It's a difficult position. I don't know. They've got a lot more Pokemon than I do. <laughs> but mine are pretty strong. So are theirs. Uh, their Bolt isn't... Uh, I did hit a Snarl on that at one point, I think. Uh, they withdraw Bolt. That's... That means Kyogre should have attacked. Shen Pao. Oh, they're going for physical damage boost here. Uh, are they going after our Chaladon then? Knowing they have Bolt in the back still for Kyogre? Oh no, they're just going for a big close combat! Knocking out Kyogre, nothing I could have done. Alright, our Chaladon versus the world. Can he defeat the entire world? I mean... Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's not gonna be easy. Uh, ho -Oh is a non-threat. ho -Oh has Helping Hand and Tailwing, so there's nothing ho -Oh can do with us. We have three defense boosts, and Chen Pao has refused to go for Sacred Sword this whole time, so I think it doesn't have it. Plus, they're on a pretty short timer on the Chen Pao. I can't see them ever protecting Chen Pao with that Toxic taking down. ho -Oh, though, is a waste of space. I don't need to worry about ho -Oh. What could ho -Oh possibly have? I'm gonna go for Electro Shot into Chen Pao. Your play is probably... Get some damage off with Chen Pao, get a Tailwind up. And try to get me with Bolt? With a big Draco? That could be a play. But I have to not worry about Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh -Oh probably can't do anything to me. And it's also probably faster than me, so, because it's a Tailwind set. It's probably faster than me, so I can't just knock it out and prevent Tailwind. Um, they withdraw into their Raging Bolt. I mean, that's a free hit. Free hit's a free hit. I wish I had picked something else to click there, though. Because now what do I do? I click Draco into it? I see no downside to clicking Draco. Other than I could miss. But does this do enough damage to put you into body press range? Maybe. Because you've got a you've got a Draco, but you don't have your booster energy anymore. And how's my special defense look? Oh man, that's a lot. My special attack is plus two, my defense is plus three. I need to get rid of Bolt. Plus three body press. Probably does it. 
Plus I'll get hit first. Yeah, body press. Body press it is. Helping hand Draco Meteor. Just miss, please. Just miss. Please, please just miss. Just don't hit that. No, it didn't hit. Didn't hit. Didn't hit. All right, GG's. All right, we've got a Terrapagos here, along with Follow Me, Follow Me, Final Gambit, Fake Out, Follow Me. Okay. <laughs> um, Ro uh, Rock Pond, Smeargle, Annihilate, Rillaboom, and Indeedee, female. Well, Clodsire is going to throw a Toxic on something, but it's probably going to get redirected. Uh, Kyogre has spread moves, but they have Rillaboom. Um, Sarina's not bad, Archaladon's not bad. Fish plus Kyogre is funny, but I think a Sarina lead could get rid of any fake outs. I guess I'm worried about Final Gambit. So if I actually Tornadus Kyogre, I don't have to worry about Final Gambit. Sarina in the back to block priority. And Clodsire. Those that's what I need to do. That is what I need to do. Our Chaladon is okay, but they can remove my weather at any time, making Electroshot pretty useless. Um, Chiyu is also nice for the Snarls, actually. Yeah, actually, I take this back. I only have a couple seconds, but I want Double Fish Lead, Clodsire, of course, Sarina. Go. Uh, is that a major mistake? Perhaps. Uh, but I can always protect Kyogre and Terra the fish, making Final Gambit useless. Uh, my biggest fear is... Oh, that... Oh, that's an interesting trainer card you got. Okay. That's weird. But alright. Alright, let's not say my biggest fear out loud. Oh, there it is. My biggest fear was the wide guard user. And there he is. Is he gonna go for wide guard? Maybe. Probably. I would think so. Uh, does he know I don't have anything other than spread moves? I don't know. But I can go into Sarina. Who could avoid both a fake out and a spore. And just dark pulse the Smeargle. Once they see me Dark Pulse, they'll be less likely to Wide Guard the second time, and then I can Snarl, finishing off Smeargle. And then double up with like a High Jump Kick into Terrapagos? That might be risky though if they protect. Uh, and also Terrapagos can pretty easily be faster than this Sarina. But I mean, Sarina's a beast. She can take it. It is Wide Guard. Cool. Would be the time to have Hydro Pump, but I don't on this team. And oh, just a single target Terra Star Storm right into the TU. That hurt, but did not KO. Special Defense rises on Smeargle. That's good. And Speed Drop. Fine. I want to throw the High Jump Kick really bad, but I don't think it's the play. Is it? They went for Terra Star Storm right off the bat, and with the amount of damage they did, I think I'm happy to high jump kick Snarl. Yeah. Uh, hopefully their Smeargle doesn't have Faint. I don't think it would. I think it would have like a protection move, wide guard, fake out, follow me, spore. They don't got room for it. Okay, they didn't wide guard. I did trick them there. And then if they are choice specs, I do get to weaken them up here. Uh, while also powering that up quite a bit. Yikes. D missed the Annihilate! Come on! You can do it! Oh boy. Yikes! Oh, are you not Defiant? Oh, you're in her focus! Cool! And that Snarl, saving her uh, Sarina. High Jump Kick! Almost gone! Nice! Very nice. Um, the problem now is... Annihilate. Who did not get a boost? It must be Inner Focus or... Um, no, not Inner Focus. The other one. Vital Spirit. It must be Vital Spirit Annihilate. That makes sense. Chiyu can Ghost Terra. While Sarina protects. 
That way I can avoid a fighting move, oh, but not a ghost move. They might see that coming and use a ghost move. But it is like my only play. Yeah, that's like my only play. If I tear a ghost, I can avoid a close combat or a final gambit. A Terra Star Storm if they throw that into the Chiyu slot. But I don't see how they would get to that point. Oh! What happened there? Oh, we're gonna get to see it play out? We're not. Oh, they're out of here. <laughs> I guess that was the gambit. All right, here we've got a very interesting team. Oh my gosh. Como O, Ho O, Overquill, Sandy Shocks, Ting Lu, and Gastrodon. Did they just go to like a randomizer and just pick Mons? Because like they have a semblance of type synergy, they don't have much overlap. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Overquill plus Ting Lu, two dark types that can reduce damage. Uh, Sandy Shocks could be some form of speed control. It's a very tanky team. And Kyogre only having water moves is terrible into a Gastrodon. But Clodsire seems okay here, actually. Uh, they do have two ground types, though. Three ground types. Oh, maybe Clod isn't the answer. Uh, I want to bait out a Terra that isn't Gastrodon. So I don't actually hate Clodsire Kyogre with Sarina in back. And then who else can actually do anything to a Gastrodon? Their team's relatively slow. I don't know if I really need Tailwind. But am I going to just bring a Ground Weakness? Maybe. I like Archaladon. If I can get some Electroshot boosts up, then maybe I can just Draco the Gastrodon and get it out of here that way. Uh, assuming they have something on the field that isn't a ground type <laughs> at any given moment. Sarina seems like she could be really good here, though. Uh, oh. They've got a secret about como -O. Am I worried about como -O? I should be. Okay, it's Ting Lu and Overquill. I don't know what those do. What does Ting do? What does Overquill? Are you Intimidate or Swift Swim? You're Intimidate. Are you gonna explode? Are you gonna swap into Gastrodon? Are you gonna do a secret third thing that I don't know about? Am I gonna water spout anyway? Yes. I think I'm gonna water spout. I don't wanna swap in Sarina yet. So I'm thinking water spout plus Toxic toward Ting Lu. The Overquill's the one swapping, okay. I think Ting Lu might consider Protect, it might Terra. And that's Gastrodon, yep. I was hoping I could catch Gastrodon with the Toxic. But I guess I can always get it next turn. And what type are you? Grass! Oh, that's annoying! But, I got you to Terra. Which is awesome. The fact that you had to Terra is huge, because that means Sarina can now hit your Gastrodon. And Kyogre is feeling really useless. Oh, they have Terra Grass, Terra Blast. Cool. That just KO Kyogre? No. Kyogre's fine. Kyogre's fine. Eh, don't worry about it. We're fine. It's kind of an offensive Ting Lu then, huh? Well, anyway, we should stall out as much as we can. While we can. Or sh should I hard bring in Sarina and protect? That seems pretty safe, because I don't know if they're going to attack Kyogre. They'll figure either I have protect or I'm choiced. If I'm choiced, I'm useless. And if I have protect, you might not want to attack me this turn. So I think I might be able to get Sarina in pretty safely. The only thing I would really be worried about going into that slot is, like, a yawn from Gastrodon. Though Sarina can have an ability that makes it immune to sleep, it's just that this one doesn't. 
does it? No, it doesn't. Alright, we've got no swaps. I didn't think they would. They were not particularly threatened. Stomping into that spot. That makes sense. Try to call some sort of switch, but that one's fine. And Earth Power into the Clod. Cool. I don't mind that. Gastrodon's not going to do that a second time, I can tell you that much. Gastrodon's protecting or swapping. They have Overquill. They have Ho-Oh. Don't have anything really good to punish either of those. But I can triple Axel into the Ting Lu. And... I can try to go for a Toxic onto the Gastrodon slot. I think they might just go back to Overquill here. Oh, on that slot? And just protect Gastrodon? That would be fine, too. It's Como-O! No ho -O. Okay, it's just a double swap, but I hit you with triple axel, so I'm feeling great. Like, sure, I'm intimidated, but this will do okay damage. The Toxic is gonna whiff. But we got Terra out of the way. Woo, a crit! Woo, boy! Yeah, that's that's painful. The, bi the big one critting, too, is awesome for me. Okay. Alright, just to play it super safe, I think I'll just protect Sarina. And then I could... Toxic, probably. I think I'm at minus two on Claude. Yeah, high horsepower is not going to do it. So I'll think I throw a Toxic on Como O. Their options are Protect or Swap or something, but I don't care. Clanging Scales. Okay, drop in your own defense, that's fine. You're too low to ever go for a Clanger Soul. And that did a ton to Claude Sire, what? What kind of Como O is this? Oh my goodness. What? That's too much damage. Uh, well, I can't safely get Kyogre in, but I actually think Kyogre is completely useless at this point. I might be willing to sacrifice it. This Como O is getting real low. Do I sacrifice Kyogre, or do I want to save it just for when the rain to get the rain back? For Electro Shots? Not that important, honestly. I'll play with no rain. You can have Kyogre. And Claude Sire will... Just recover? I think recover is better than protect this turn. If I get hit, unless I get doubled into really hard, because like Gunk Shot won't do anything to a Claude Sire. And if they let me be for some reason, recover will get me all the way back to full. Hanging scales. Ooh, that hurts. It's probably another Gunk Shot, which we'll probably just miss, and even if it hits, Cloud Sire can take it. Oh no, it's Throat Shot! Oh no, Cloud Sire, no! Oh no! Small problem. I no longer have a Cloud Sire. I should have protected. But at least Como O is gone. Get out of here. We don't like you, Stinky. Alright, Sarina so Archaladon. We got this. We got this. We can even side triple axle to get body press boosted up. Which isn't a bad idea. And who are they sending out? If it's Gastrodon, it's protecting. It's Tinglu. Which probably can't protect. Do I want to do the side triple axle play? Uh, only if Sarina's faster. It's not, so that's not worth it. Or is it worth it? Katera, side triple axle. Just Terra to live. Side triple axle. Get some damage off on this overquill. Terra fire will. Oh. Oh, they're, they're baiting there? Okay. What were they trying- what move were they trying to bait in? 
a triple axle? Are they Rocky Helmet and Gastrodon? If so, this is the right play. That might be what they're doing. They were baiting a triple axle so they could get Rocky Helmet chip. What does that mean Overquill is doing? It still could be going for Gunk Shot. Hey, it's actually pretty slow. Good damage, actually. Gunk Shot. Come on, eat it. Yeah, good job, Sarina. Ooh, Poison's not good. But our Chaladon's the Wincon. One Stamina. Two Stamina. Three Stamina. And now because our Chaladon we know is faster than Overquill, we should be able to take that out. And just Power Whip into Gastrodon? while we body press the Overquill, which hopefully at plus three takes it. Uh, it has better physical defense, I think, than special defense. But this could also be like an Assault Fest set. I don't know. Uh, they not, they're not Assault Vest. Are they going to protect with Gastrodon 2? Yeah. Okay, they're just getting the poison damage. That's fine. Wish I had gone for another Triple Axle then. So now Gastrodon's kind of a threat. Blocked. Uh, Sarina, do you live this? I wasn't paying close attention to the number. I just knew I had no other play. 4 HP, that's awesome. Alright, they're definitely gonna swap in Ting Lu to that slot. Right? Am I right, though? They have to, right? There's no way they don't. There's no way they don't. There's no way they don't. They gotta. They gotta be swapping Ting Lu into the Gastrodon slot. They have to. They can't let me do this. They have to. They're gonna do it. The alternative is their Overquill lives and just takes out Sarina before it gets to hit Gastrodon, which is an option. If they think they can take it. Yeah, they're out of here. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, hopefully Body Press actually takes Overkill, though. I'm not super confident. We are at plus three, but who knows. They get a double Protect! Okay, I mean, that's not a bad play. Except, you could have lived that and prevented this Triple Axle from happening. Critical hit. Boom! Not a critical hit. And boom. Good damage! Just good damage. Nothing amazing. But you're taking poison damage too. That Ting Lu is not gonna last very long. Who do I actually want to take out um, between these two though? Or do I want to like charge up an electro shot? No, that'd be a waste of time. Uh, Ting Lu, I think, is more threatening. We know Overquill has Throat Chop, which will do nothing, Gunk Shot, which will actually do nothing, Protect, which will probably do nothing. And some fourth move it hasn't revealed? Ting Lu could have, like, Ruination, which would be a problem. So I'm gonna body press into the Ting Lu. Overquill is the least of my worries right now. I hope. I can see the last move being something silly like Taunt. Oh, they just have Throat Chop, that's their best bet. Cool. Uh, I don't have Terra left, but. If I did, I would be wanting it here. Alright. Triple your defense is 450, but an only 80 power move. So if we save about half of that, it's two lines of the Draco Meteor. It's about triple that. I think I want to Draco Meteor once into this Gastrodon. And then follow up with a body press. That does do over half, which is great. Gunk Shot specifically did not give me more defense for body presses. Interesting. Interesting. Now they're gonna double protect. 
Unless Gastrodon doesn't have it. Overquill definitely does. We'll see about Gastrodon. It does have it. Yeah, that makes sense. It would. Alright, now I just have to wake up in... Ugh, I have to wake up so fast. Because I'm going to sleep here. I'm going to get hit by an Earth Power, guaranteed. I think I can take one, but the Throat Chops are actually going to add up, too. But if they Throat Chop, they do give me more defense boost, so they have to be careful about when they throw that. Uh, they're willing to just go for it. They, they want to get all the damage, and they're, they're going to risk a one-turn sleep if I can take this. Oh, I can't take this and all the others. Alright, if I can take one Throat Chop, wake up here, and oh, Co-Gastrodon, we're good. We don't wake up, though. That's a GG's. Oh, such an annoying fight. But yeah, we could take a Throat Chop, then we would have KO'd Gastrodon, and then we would have KO'd Overquill if we had just gotten the one turn. But you can't count on getting a one turn. Man. GG. You had a really annoying team. But I guess so did I. Okay. Maridon, Landorus, Whimsicott, Urshifu, Tinkaten, and Chiyu. They don't seem to have any weather control unless they have Sunny Day Whimsicott, which is possible. My Kyogre is Terra Grass, max speed. Pretty good. We could match Tailwinds, but they've got a faster team overall. So I think it might just be the case that we let Cloud Sire here do well into everything that isn't Landorus. Cause it's really bad into Landorus, oh no. <laughs> But for Landorus, we have a... We do, we have Triple Axle Serena. We got Fish here. Tornadus Kyogre. Okay. Do I want to go Tornadus Kyogre? Bait them into Electro Drifting and go to Godsire? But I also want Serena. Maybe I don't want Tornadus at all. Maybe I want... Clodsire Kyogre first. But definitely bring Sarina. Who Tinkaton can actually fake out right through, unfortunately. But we could block like Encores from Whimsicott, which could be good. And then finally, I don't think it's the fish. Could be our Chalodon or Tornadus. I'm leaning toward our Chalodon. Just to have something else that can take an Electro Drift. Because our Chalodon can take one. Probably okay, right? I would think. Assault Vest? Resisting it? May not be enough. That's a fine character, I guess. She's the teacher that's all energetic, I think. Uh, Tinkaton Urshifu. Oh, Fake Out plus Urshifu lead. That's scary. But Claude Sire doesn't fear either of you. Uh, you are in fact Mold Breaker, so switching into Sarina does not work. I think Kyogre's gonna take big damage. Someone's gonna take big damage here. I either leave Kyogre in to take big damage, or I bring in our Chalodon to take big damage, or Sarina to take big damage. I think I'm gonna go for Surf. I think I'm gonna Toxic the Urshifu. Okay, they do fake out Kyogre. Let's see what they do with the Urshifu. Uh, they just throw a close combat right into Kyogre. Ow! But we eat. We eat it, but ow. And we get to see the speed interaction. You are now poisoned. Yeah, so Kyogre actually moved, flinched, before Urshifu moved, which is really interesting. Uh, so I think I'm going to throw a Surf. And a high horsepower into Urshifu. Oh, they just go for Aqua Jet. Ah, that could have been a Sarina there. Alright. Well, what's Tinkaton really going to do? 
Gigaton Hammer? How much is that gonna really do? Hopefully not a lot of damage. No, that wasn't so bad. Alright, well, we lost Kyogre pretty early, but Cloudfire is the one who's gonna win the game, right? Oh, I should have seen that coming. Oh well. Uh, now we can go into Sarina and pretty safely threaten them out. Uh, our Serena is very slow. They are definitely going to be fa- They're definitely going to be faster than this. Okay, um... But they don't know that. So I think Sarina's fine. But Sarina is just bait. You're either going to protect your Urshifu, or swap it. If you swap it, it would be into like Whimsicott or Maridon, so I could throw a triple axle there. And while Tinkerton can't use its move, I think I could just recover Cloud Sire. Because I'm not too scared of Tinkerton, honestly. They go for a feint, which doesn't matter because of the way Urshifu works. And you're just attacking. Okay. Well, hopefully triple axle can take you plus toxic after the uh, defense drop. Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, that should be good. Cool. And Cloud Sire, the actual threat, is just healing on you. So what do you think about that? They're probably thinking, I have a Landorus in the back who can handle it. Hmm. Don't like that. What is our Archaladon's Terra? It's Fairy. Um, I guess that depends. Okay, it's Chiyu. They don't have Landorus. That's great! Oh, that's awesome! Hi, Chiyu. I could pretty easily just protect high horsepower. Right? That's what I'm clicking. Helping hand boosted. Oh, is this gonna be a Dark Pearl sort of snarl into the Clod Sire? Are you finally accepting that Clod Sire is the real threat out here? Psychic! Oh no, Clod Sire! No! <laughs> Alright, well you're definitely choice if you got Psychic, so... I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Am I gonna Draco Meteor your Maridon spot? Is that my win condition? It might be. Uh, you could also just attack the Sarina here. did just protect. Um... Okay. Terra Fairy could trick them if they try to Draco. I want to high jump kick in the, into the Chiyu slot in case they like... I guess they could just swap out. I think they'll Psychic. So I should go for a double protect. Body press the Chiyu. Ah, I wanted to Draco that. No, come on. Come on, man. And you, oh, you're Electric Seed. All right, so even if I get this high jump kickoff, if, if, if I did get the high jump kickoff, it wouldn't have done much. Even if I had read a triple act and gone for triple act, it wouldn't have done much. Okay, uh, there's no way our Taladon's winning this game, right? How much rain is left? Rain should be about over. Body press for some chip. Rain is gone. Gee, you can miss its moves, so my win con is block a Draco, Draco them back. And then Chiyu doesn't hit moves in time for me to body press it. And then Tinkerton probably can't beat our child on one-on-one -on -one anyway. Um, it can if I'm weak to Gigaton Hammer though. <laughs> so, uh, Helping Hand, it's gotta be a Draco Meteor, right? It's gotta be. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't have any defense boost, so that's not great. So Tinkerton actually should be able to win this with <laughs> Gigaton Hammer won't do a lot, but it's super effective. It'll do some damage. Oh, man. 
Psychic Chi Yu. The only way to take out Claude Sire is their Psychic Chi Yu. What was I supposed to do? All right, well, it's body press the Chi Yu time, unless they still have Terra, which they do. But I mean, it's still the play. Here's their Terra. If it's Ghost, I have even less chance of winning than I did before. It is Ghost! Hooray! Oh boy. If I had just draco on that swap... I mean, I wouldn't have won off that. Look how much Heat Wave did. Oh my goodness! I mean, yeah, that was a crit, but... Wow. Gigaton Hammer can definitely finish me from there. Even at plus one. Okay. Uh, GG! <laughs> Psychic Chiyu. You were ready for that Cloud Sire, man. They saw that Cloud Sire, they were like, I'm gonna bring my Psychic Chiyu, that's gonna get him. And it did. That little fishy fish got me. Alright, GG's. Alright, here we are with a Zamazenta. Uh, which can't be toxic if it's holding the, so the shield. But it's alright, we've got a lot of special damage. Uh, they also have Fluttermane, Raging Bolt, Water Pond, Tornadus Chiyu. Very aggressive. Very aggressive special side. If Tornadus has Sunny Day... Ooh, it might. They've got three Pokémon that can benefit from the sun. That could be really annoying. Uh, but Kyogre... is walled by Ogre Pond and Raging Bolt, because we only have water moves. Kyogre's not, the great, not looking so great here. Uh, a Tornadus plus... Chiyu isn't bad. Our Chaladon seems pretty nice. Uh, Chiyu could be really important late game, honestly. Especially if I, like, save Terra Ghost for it. Uh, maybe I go with a defensive lead with, like, Clodsire, our Chaladon. With Fish in the back. Fish also has Snarl. Actually, I... Should I lead Fish? And risk it when it's my end game? Yeah, I think Fish, Archaladon, Fish Torn, Fish Torn, Kyogre, Cloud Sire. I'm not 100% sure on this. This is a difficult matchup, especially if they have Sun. If they have Sun, we could just be in big trouble right out the gate, you know? Or if they just go Chiyu, Fluttermane. I can't see them leading Chiyu, Fluttermane into a possible Torn Ogre, though. That's a good card. Iron Crown is cool. Uh, yeah, it shouldn't be Chiyu Fluttermane. That would be wild. Chiyu Torn makes sense. They might have Sun then. And look at my Chiyu Torn. Uh, my Chiyu's Beads of Ruin activated first. Which means... Well, we're max speed, but not Scarfed. So that means they're not Scarfed. It could be a speed tie. Our Tornadus is not max speed item. I think I want to throw a snarl. Do I want to just start going Snarl Tailwind? I think so. We're either faster than their Tornadus, or they're not setting Tailwind. So they're not setting Tailwind. That was okay damage into their Torn, actually. Special attack drop on Chiyu is nice, and they're not Covert Cloak on their Torn. Bleakwind misses Tornadus. Which is probably fine. And then they Snarl us back. Okay. And they're Life Orb on their Chiyu. All right. Cloud Sire seems pretty safe to swap in, or I could just protect and throw a Bleak Wind. My Terra type is Steel, but I am Covert Cloak, so I could just protect Chi Yu, play this slow, whittle them down, because I can't just give up Chi Yu this e this early. But I don't know if I want to just hard swap it out right away. Especially when they're just throwing bleak winds and snarls around. But they are at minus one, so I mean. Cloud Sire probably could have come in pretty safely. Uh, I didn't want to bring in Kyogre, though. Kyogre getting hit by a snarl would be annoying. Uh, 
Your Chiyu just protects as well. Alright, we just mirror moving most of the time. Now they set their Tailwind. They've got a slight advantage having put up their Tailwind second. Oh, but I have the slight advantage of being Cloak on my Torn. You know, can't take speed drops or special attack drops, and you just drop! Oh. Okay. That could be okay? That could be bad. That could be good, but it could also be bad. Because now they get something else in here. And if they have, like, Zamazenta... They could Terra their Zamazenta, they could double up into Chiyu with Body Press and a Dark Move, so I can't Ghost Terra. Okay, they go to Ogre Pond. Cool. I'm now happy to bring in Clod Sire, who can take on both of these pretty easily. And just throw a Bleak Windstorm. You could Terra your Ogre Pond, but then you don't have a Water Immunity anymore, which is nice. Uh, your Chiyu isn't going to do too much damage. Now that it's snarled. Uh, you could be going after my Torn, I guess. Uh, they are gonna Terra. It must be Ogre Pond. They don't want to take a Beads of Ruin boosted Bleak Wind Storm while they're a Grass type. That's perfectly fair. Uh, now I hope you go after the Chiyu slot instead of the Torn slot. But we'll see. You might not think Torn's that much of a threat now that you've Terra. Oh, you did go after Torn! What? Okay. Goodbye. Ow. Kinda hurt. And snarl my clock side. Well, I still have... Terra on Kyogre, which this would be actually a really good place to pop that. Yeah. Terra that Kyogre into grass, take any hit I want, surf, healing up the Clod Sire, throw a Toxic down on your Ogre Pond. Not like Chiyu's gonna be a threat. It could snarl my Kyogre. And they probably will do that, or it might just protect first, and then snarl the next turn. But it's fine. You can't really hit my clod that hard. Kyogre's fine with being a grass type because the rain's up. Well, they do go for Ivy Cudgel. Smart play. Big damage into Kyogre, ouch. And the snarl hurts too, wow. They're just doing so much damage. Well, Chiyu's gonna get out of here from this surf either way. Doesn't much matter. But... How do I beat Zamazenta? Yeah, with all the damage to Kyogre, I don't know if I have a Zamazenta endgame anymore. Uh, they already tear it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to position a strong Surfer Origin Pulse into it. I could chip it down with high horsepower eventually, but I might not have time. Yeah, there's Zamazenta. Uh, I could count on them being slower than my Chiyu, but that would be rare. I didn't preserve Ghost Terra. I couldn't, really. Uh, I, actually, I guess I could. If I had known they were going to Ivy Cudgel, I didn't have to Terra there. So I'm going to go for a high horsepower... And just protect Kyogre. Because they should go for Body Press, but they could also high horsepower. They could also uh, just Iron Defense or something. Oh, uh, they Body Press the Clod. They know the threat. They must be hitting Kyogre with the other mom, though. No? They double the Clod? You think Claude's the threat here? You're telling me you were gonna let that happen. Well, next time I'll believe you. Your tailwind's finally gone. I 
I should protect Claude Sire. Okay, what are my win cons? It's too much rain. So it's not the Chiyu one. They don't double into Claude here. So I give them Chiyu, bring out Kyogre, make them think I will protect Kyogre. And also make, uh... Claude Sire look annoying. This isn't going great. Yeah, she was out of here. Goodbye. You were a sacrifice fish. It's not like you were gonna do anything in this endgame. How do you beat either of those? And Horn Leech does a lot of damage. <laughs> and keeps you nice and healthy from that toxic. But I can recover. Alright. Now you gotta throw some sort of move at Kyogre, is what you think I think. And so I'm gonna go into Kyogre, and you're thinking I'm gonna protect my Kyogre, right? I have to. I have to protect my Kyogre, and so I won't. My only win- my only chance of winning this- well I have two chances of winning it. Critting a high horsepower, and doing way more damage than a crit high horsepower should ever do. Or, they ignore Kyogre because they don't understand that it's about to do big damage. And Origin Pulse is significantly stronger. So I should click it. Uh, they didn't fall for it this time. My win con is a Mega Ultra Super Crit from Cloud Sire onto this Zamazenta. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much Horn Leech does. 162 down to 95. That's not too bad. They're keeping themselves nice and healthy, though. And high horsepower. Oh, it doesn't crit. In fact, it misses entirely. That's great. Love to see that. Uh, I should be able to live a double up. So I should protect to get leftovers back, do a little more toxic damage, take the double up, try the high horsepower again. I'm sorry, Cloud Sire. I haven't been doing very well here. Behemoth Bash, you think that does more? Probably, maybe. Not sure. But at least you didn't go for Iron Defense. Not that it really matters, because I, I need a crit either way. They also know better than the Ivy Cudgel, so they've been clicking the right moves on that Ogre Pond. Uh... Yeah, I gotta live both hits at high horsepower here. I guess I could try recovering there, but... No, they do enough damage. They do about 70 with Horn Leech, and that's enough. I'm sorry, Clan Sire! <laughs> no! Alright, GG's. That was a very interesting game. They made a lot of good plays, honestly. They, they played well. GG's. Alrighty, we're back. Uh, not a whole lot of dubs in this video. Sorry about that, Claude Sire. I really am. Uh, but I don't think any of it was really Claude Sire's fault. Claude Sire did his best. Maybe on a better team, or in a less powerful meta, Claude Sire could really shine. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Kurtastic, for making this team anyway. And uh, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And anyways, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright, peace.